asked the scientists to look at whether there could be some limited contact between, say, two different households uh, within the same family. And we've asked them to give us some advice on what that would do to the transmission rate. So until we've got that advice back, we, we're not in a position to say, yes, you can, you can positively do that. But it is something we want to look at because people want to be uh, more in touch with their close family. My mum's birthday was over the weekend. It's difficult, I know, for families up and down the country. If you can stay two metres apart, as is already the case, for example, with shopping deliveries or support for the vulnerable, um, if you can stay two metres apart, then we want to, we will encourage people to use their common sense. But, but we do need to maintain that social distancing. If not, and people have been exceptional so far, the overwhelming majority of people have followed the guidance, the guidelines. That's why we've got the level of this virus down to the stage we've got it at now. And if we stay alert and we keep that social distancing that I mentioned, whatever the setting it may be, we can keep making progress and get more of the things back to normal. This is the first step on Wednesday. There are three steps. So from the earliest 1st of June, we'll look at non-essential retail and how they can go back only if the conditions are met, subject to wider um, monitoring so that we only proceed in sure-footed way. And then from the 4th of July at the earliest, subject to the conditions, we'll look at other sectors and that will include hospitality, but it will also include personal care and um, people like hairdressers. And obviously the proximity in those two sectors that I've mentioned, hospitality and personal care sector like hairdressers, is something where we just don't think we're ready yet yet, uh, given where we are with the virus. So we've got very clear guidance that will be coming out to give people the information that they need. But as I said, our overriding goal is to make sure we protect people's health. We, we, we don't see uh, the virus get out of control. That's why we need to stay alert. Um, but we also start to protect livelihoods and preserve our way of life as best we can in these circumstances.